Right here. Hi, Dr. Venter. My name is Ryan Bethencourt. I'm actually a biohacker, uh, and I, I think you're one of the few scientists that are actually going for moonshots in, bi in biotech, particularly. I'm wondering what you think are the next kind of moonshots in biotech. Uh, obviously, writing DNA is, is a big one, but what, what do you think is coming next? Well, biotech has now expanded from uh, just a, a drug-based world to include everything. So, uh, you know, we need to deal with, first, that we have 7 billion people on this planet as of last October, uh, and the predictions are we're going to have 10 billion people pretty soon. So, I was born in 1946. There's now three people on this planet for everybody that existed the year I was born. We've never seen this kind of change in human history. In a short while, there's going to be five people for everybody that was on the planet in 1946. We don't have the resources, uh, we don't have the technology, uh, human society developed using agriculture and domestication of animals that's not sustainable. They're kind of dumb tools when you look at what needs to be done and what can be done. So designing new food sources, designing new species uh, to produce uh, food, chemicals, medicines, clean water, fuel, uh, are going to be the whole basis of the future of humanity. Uh, and if we don't do those things, we will find ourselves in a non-sustainable situation pretty quickly. We're, we're on the border now. Question comes so you, you can't pick an area uh, of human endeavor and not succeed in it in biotech now. Hi, good evening. Uh, based on the exchange of material between 